Hey guys, Eric Sue here. Hope you're doing well. Hey, I've got another unboxing and review for you guys today. And it's going to be a fun one because it's about this box. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, if you're new to this channel, welcome. And I know you guys will learn a little bit more about what I have. And so remember, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button and notification button so you can get future videos just like this. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I know you guys will learn a little bit more about this, what's in here. All right, so what's in here is my new keyboard. It's a Microsoft Sculpt and it's an ergonomics wireless desktop keyboard and it comes with a mouse too um this is the lv this is the l5v-00001 model okay now i got it on amazon here and it is renewed okay and i don't know if you guys buy renewed amazon products uh, what your opinion is about about Amazon renewed products, but I haven't had any issues Okay, and so um, Let's go ahead and open this up let's See what we got So it came in this box right here and There is no Microsoft box. Okay, it's just the um, Item itself. So it got nice packaging around this piece here which is i think is the um it's the piece that helps it uh, angle um this is the keypad it's all wrapped nice okay looks pretty good but it doesn't have um the keyboard box or at least the original box okay now if you go and try to buy this uh, keyboard now um the the uh, website might say it's currently unavailable okay so i might have gotten the last one or something like that but um here's the keyboard right here and uh like i said it's packaged very well as far as the box i'm not too um i would just say hi or I, it's like do i need the box no not really i just need this thing to work okay and the reason why i got this keyboard because i was looking at uh ergonomic keyboards and um, I wanted to get something that would be um, comfortable for my wrists, um, getting a little elbow pain and stuff like that. And so um, I think the keyboard plays a lot, uh, a big role into whether or not <coughs> my wrists hurt or not, or my and my elbows. Okay. All right. So here it is, and this is the pad right here and nice and soft okay looks like no one's used it before so renew is not too bad and it actually has um this um film on here okay and uh, i'll usually keep it on um, just to keep my stuff clean and fresh okay but all the keys are here they feel nice um and here in the back is the uh, battery holder and it's magnetic so when you Drop it like that, it opens up, okay? And it takes two AA, or actually AAA, two AAAs. Okay, so we're gonna go get some AAAs. I don't think it came with any batteries, so we're gonna have to get some batteries, not a problem, okay. Not too heavy either, the, the, the keyboard's pretty light, so that's nice, so it moves around. And one of the things about this um, keyboard is that it's not too long. Uh, width wise now I'll, I'll show you what I'm using now which is a red dragon keyboard and it came with my desktop that I purchased from a person on um, Facebook but anyhow this is the mouse right in here okay and it's an ergonomic mouse too it's fairly packaged very well looks brand new okay scroll um, button right here on top. OK, 
Okay, it has a side windows button, I think, or something like here. I think that's what this, there's like a little button right here. You can see on this side that you can push, it might be a windows button. You got a left button right here and a right button right here. Okay, and a scroll wheel. Okay, right now, if you're wondering, <clears throat> I have this micro mini uh, USB mouse that works pretty good. I picked it up several years ago and um, it looks pretty good. But um, might as well try this one too, right? And it also has a power button right here. Okay, Bluetooth power button. And I believe it takes, uh, let's see, does it take a battery? Let's see here. Yes, it takes two batteries. Okay. All right. It takes two AA batteries. Okay. So you can see that two AA batteries and it comes with a USB dongle, which is good right in the back right through here. Excellent. Good. So we'll use that and put some bat more batteries in here. So a lot of batteries going on with this unit. Not too bad. Okay. And then got this. Everything is bubble wrapped, so it's really secure. So you know that's not damaged, or it's not going to come damaged. So I'm going to use the scissors to crack this open here. Okay. Um, how much did I pay for this? If you might be wondering here, if you want to guess in the comments below, uh, you can do that, and I'll tell you at the end how much I paid for it. Okay. And I think these go for over a hundred dollars. I think um, retail. If you buy it now, okay. Ooh, this is packaged very well. Okay. Let's see, get this open. All right. Now this keypad is a separate keypad. Okay. And this keypad right here, as you can see. is um, you can put it anywhere basically and it should uh, sync up piece that allows you to angle the keyboard so it uh, raises the angle of the key, key keyboard it raises the angle of the keyboard so that uh, when I put it down I'm not typing flat okay probably typing up a little bit or even down. Let's just see how that works. Okay. All right, so I think it goes right, yes, right here. And it rests my hand a little bit more angle. So, so it raises it up a little bit. So it's kind of a um, it raises it up a little bit so it's more of an angle when you type. Okay, awesome. All right, so let me go ahead and remove some of this stuff. Let's go ahead and it's attached by magnet, magnet so um, very easy to attach. Okay, let's go ahead and put some um, batteries in these pieces. Okay, so this right here is the Red Dragon keyboard, RGB, and uh, it works pretty good. It has foot that you can um, use to raise the um, keyboard, but it's kind of flat. Um, it's wired, so USB. So we're gonna go ahead and take that down. And if anybody's interested in getting a Red Dragon, while you watch this, hit me up. I might put this on auction here somewhere. But anyhow, uh, the difference in size, as you can see, this is the uh, Microsoft Sculpt, and this one right here is the Red Dragon. And the difference is quite a bit. It's a good three, maybe four inches. Okay. And so that's the space I was looking for actually to 
to uh, improve in my um, keyboard spot here and um, I will tell you in a second why that is but um, this is definitely shorter this is definitely longer uh, I can take a measurement real quick here so it measures in 15 and a half right there 15 and a half Okay, excellent. And the Red Dragon comes in. And this is uh, with the keypad at um, a little bit over 17, 17 and a half. Okay. And so the Red Dragon is definitely three inches bigger than this keyboard, the Microsoft. And as far as the keypad goes, would I use it? Yeah, I could use it. But what's great about this is that I can move it around on my um, standing desk here and uh, position it so that I, it's not in my way. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you. So here's the keyboard right here. Here's the mouse right here. Okay, now one of the things I have to say is that uh, when I sit in my Titan chair, as you can see right here, this Titan chair, highly recommend it. Go ahead and watch my uh, review on the Titan chair. Um, I sit in it in a specific way that allows me to rest my elbows here in here and it allows me to type with my hands resting right here now the other keyboard for me to type in this configuration so again typing here where this layout is my red dragon is so long that I would have to position it over here and you can see right here now I don't have space for my mouse right see it's comfortable to type right here with the red dragon and what I noticed was that this was not what this keyboard was so long three inches longer than the Microsoft that my mouse has no space I would have to go off and go on to my table here so um, two things Number one, this is shorter, ergonomic, number two. And I can put my mouse here and type comfortably here. Let me turn it on. There you go. No, it's working. And it's all ergonomic, okay? So, which is really cool for me so that now I can use this keyboard A. Uh, B, I can put my mouse on here and I could use my desk or my, my Titan chair comfortably now and type, okay? And it's ergonomic, okay? Let's not forget that. And if I needed the keypad here, that's fine. Um, it's over here, it's cool. Do I need to use it? Nah, I can, I'm comfortable here with these numbers up on top. Uh, can I use my left hand to do it? Yeah, I could use my left hand, but it's there, okay? So, um, that's a little bit more of a detail as to why uh, reasons why I got the keyboard. Uh, so ergonomics, the length of it, so that I can position the keyboard in a way so that I can type comfortably using my chair, uh, my Titan chair uh, from Secret Labs, and uh, have my mouse on the um, standing desk. Okay, so all great things. Um, and if I were to open up a a document all right so I'm going to go ahead and um, fill this out here um, and practice typing for sure um, let me go ahead and put this piece on as well just to have a 
variation to the keyboard and it does angle it there you go so So for just the few seconds that I've been um, working with the new keyboard and the layout and everything, I have to um, experiment a little bit more, maybe do a follow-up um, in a few weeks just to let you guys know how I am doing with the keyboard for now. It's going to uh, function for me, um, and it's just different uh, feeling, but it's going to function for me. I like the layout. Um, I can already feel like my wrists aren't working as hard because of the angle and so I do like that. Um, if you are um, new to ergonomic keyboards then there might be a little um, time for you to learn just like I'm learning but in the long run I think it's going to be a great thing. Um, I, I want to say the uh, Red Dragon keyboard is for sale so if you're uh, in the market for one and if you're needing one I'd be happy to ship it out to you. At a good price and the other thing is that you wonder you're wondering how much i paid for this uh, keyboard well it's like 90 dollars 90 some dollars i think is what i paid for it 89 dollars okay so i paid 89 dollars no box that's fine it came with all the parts it looks great doesn't look like it's been used it's probably was open and then returned whatever it was uh it's renewed it looks great packaged very well so highly recommend this microsoft keyboard if you're wondering if it's good or not so that's my review. All right. If you guys like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button and notification button so you can get future videos just like this. And I will see you in the future. Bye.